Hello and welcome back to another Sibelius quick tip. Today I want to talk a little bit about house styles and about specifically about the text style elements. So house style, with the house style you can create a certain look of your score, set, give different settings to all the elements, to text element and all the other elements. After that is export the house style and in a new work import the house style again after which you, all the elements, the text, the size will look exactly the same. So it's a way of creating the same look for all your different documents. So that being said, let's uh, have a look how we can create the subtitle, the, the title, the subtitle, the dedication, the composer, the header after first page, and <coughs> the footer, in this case I called it copyright because it has the name of a publisher inside. So let's, first I want to reset this title. Let's do this first. So, um, yes, the, the, the house style elements are connected to everything that goes into this layout menu and whatever I set in these styles here, <coughs> it's especially connected to these here elements here. If I would, for example, do a reset design, this would go back to whatever I've set in this text element here. So, for example, let's see the title. I will give it a, a size, no, let's say 18. It's clearly visible what is changing. And I make this change in the score section, keep it absolute. And not in the part section. The part would be when it is a second instrument in the score, but we only talk about the main score right now. So I change the size, I go to OK, and now my size is changed. So even it's set, it is set here to 42, I can make it to 42 again just by selecting it, and it's back again. But I defined in a house style that I want to have another style. So what will happen now is that when I select this title, I go to layout and I set reset design. So in other words, reset to my house style design. It goes back again to 18. So that is how it works. Whatever I set define in this menu here is connected to this design here. I can even reset the position of my title. And that goes because this position is something I defined in the text style here. I will show you in the vertical position in this case because I told them snap to the top or bottom in this case I want top margin with zero distance so it will always go back <coughs> to the top margin and the page margin and there it is so uh, let's create another style for example the pathetic pathetic in this case is the subtitle style if I would reset it now reset the design, nothing will happen because Times New Roman 11 is already correct. It's set here in my textile edit subtitle edit and there it is Times subtitle Times New Roman 11 it's already set. <coughs> For now I'll only will mention that I always have this on keep absolute so it will always really be size 11 if you uncheck it, it will do something else, but I will explain it in another video. But by giving it a check, it will always be 11 size. So. But for example, if I would change it to, let's say, 13, and you're OK, now my subtitle text, these are both subtitles, changes to 13. <coughs> and if I would do a reset design, it will stay like that. However, if I would change the size in my little property window here, and I would do a de reset a design, it goes back again to 13 because that is what I des defined in the text style. So let's back, set back to 11. <coughs> Keep absolute, yes. Okay. And now both of my subtitle text go back. But maybe I have to do a re reset first. This is correct. And reset this one. Well, that's correct. Oh, there you have it. So the same is with <coughs> the dedication title. 
I'll show you. In the textile window, edit. The, the font is set to Times New Roman, italic, size 11. So this is okay. And it is really important that you set all these uh, uh, sizes and textiles in this house style text window because if you would only make the changes inside here in property window it is not going to be saved as a text as a house style so whenever you import the next in the next piece this house style these changes will not be made only when you adjust these elements in the textile edit window composer edit um, times new roman size 10 exactly what I have here so it's okay and uh, let's see, we go to header after first page set to size 9.5. So uh, just for the fun of it, let's make it smaller. And let's see what is set in the textile. Header after first page is set to 9.5. And that's what exactly what I wanted. So <coughs> for example, if I would imp use this house style on an other score that has this kind of um, setting. The all I have to do is do a reset design in layout and it goes back to 9.5 the way I set it in the text on here. Okay. And now let's see the, <coughs> the virtual sheet music copyright. Add a textile. How is this set? Let's see. The settings is Palantino font then absolute and that's correct so after having set all these text tiles now I can export my house style and this is a piano score so I'm going to call this <coughs> um, for example quick tip uh, piano style okay and now I'm going to change this. Let's see, there was my property here. Yes. For example, let's change this. And let's change the subtitle. We're going to do all kind of weird stuff. So, I don't know other fonts, why not? So, no, it looks totally different. So, what would happen now? If, if I said no, I want to have it exactly the same as the previous piece I worked on. So all we have to do now is go to house style, import house style, and let's see where we have the quick tip piano style. This is what I imported just now, exported just now. So let's click OK. Sometimes you have to do a, a reset note, reset design to go back to the house style that was defined, and we can just select everything all the elements that we just changed we go to layout reset design and there you are everything is back to normal except this one because the title is something I always set by hand it's different for every piece so hmm, what was it 34 something I'm not sure so there you have it that is the way we set the house text style the next video I'm going to explain how to um, also define the positions of these text elements. That's another story. See you in the next video.